Welcome. In this lecture, we are going to talk about top-down design methodology of pulse width modulation and pulse keeping modulation based multi-mode digital control. So, here we will first revisit the voltage based digital PWM and PSM modulation techniques which we have already presented. Then understanding the PWM, PSM multi-mode digital control and then the top-down design methodology of PWM, PSM multi-mode control. So, here uh, if we talk about digital voltage mode control in a buck converter that we have presented you know multiple times uh, I think in lecture number 71 to 74 we have discussed in detail and this is the architecture that we have already developed and we have implemented uh, we have synthesized using Verilog HDL and we have also implemented using APG and all these architectures are discussed in detail. We have also discussed digital uh, voltage based digital pulse keep uh, modulation technique where the practical implementation of this block we have developed in lecture number I think 79 and 70, 80 we have discussed the top down design methodology as well as HDL uh, synthesis synthesizable HDL Verilog HDL code and also we did FPGA prototyping for hardware implementation. Then now we are going to multi mode control where we want to interface between PWM and PSM. And it is well known actually we have discussed in lecture number 110 that what is the need for multi mode because we need to improve the light load efficiency. So, typically this will operate you know under I will say high load and this will operate under light load. So, that means we are trying to interface digital voltage mode control and digital pulse keeping modulation. The good thing about this, this two control like a voltage mode control, it is a fixed frequency control we know that uh, you know it is a fixed frequency control, it is a fixed frequency control like right? or basically it is a trailing edge modulation and here it is a you know that fixed frequency clock synchronized, fixed frequency clock synchronize. That means, if this is synchro it is a switching frequency clock it is synchronized with FSW because at every rising is of FSW clock it will decide whether to skip the pulse or charge the pulse and depending upon the condition of the output voltage with respect to the reference voltage. So, here we have option either to go for multi mode or we can continue under pulse width modulation throughout and we will show in the subsequent lecture we will show the experimental case study also. Now, the next question how to interface? So, this block now we have to synthesize using Verilog and we want to discuss the Verilog top down design methodology. But before that we need to understand what are there inside this block. So, first of all if we want to design the Verilog HDL cloud this is the main module. So, this is the main module which will interface with the, the I O pin outside I O pin. So, it should look like a digital controller I C. So, it as a main module then it require a clock generator because this will generate this will take what input we know that this highest frequency clock this is the input to this block and will generate A D C clock that means the output of this will generate what output of this will generate this ADC clock it will there is no DAC requirement and also it will generate switching frequency call, clock ok. Then digital PID controller because we want to consider digital PID controller during during PWM if is PWM is activated or digital PWM I will say DPWM then we will activate digital PID controller because we need a feedback controller and we are using a counter based DPWM because this will be used to generate both and there is a mode selection 
that means whether to go for pulse keep modulation that means PSM or PWM whether to go for PSM and PS, PWM. So, we need this module and we want to optimize the hardware. So, we want to optimize the hardware. So, the main module that means let us consider how can we optimize the module. So, suppose if we consider a block like this where this is our controller, this is our GCZ and assuming that they are properly scaled, this is the controller output, I will say this is the controller output and this is the end command. This is a tutorial ratio comment. So, this is 0, this is 1. That means this is the this is I will say it is the PWM controller and this is the due to ratio related to I would say this is related to you can say PSM. So, this is a fixed value because we are talking about a fixed due to ratio, fixed due to ratio. This is related to fixed fixed duty command, and this is the control command, which is a duty ratio command but under closed loop control. Now, this has to be compared with a short to the form. What is that? That means we need to have counter based deep problem, right. So, this will you know whether it is higher or lower based on that it will decide. That means, if it is uh, you know this is typically less than equal to then, then it will generate a pulse which is the reset pulse. That means, it will turn off the Thing because we will have what? We will have a reset and there is a set that means RS flip flop. And what is RS flip flop? RS flip flop will be I would say it is a switching frequency clock at every rising S. And whatever will be generated is like a P you can say key charge pulse and it will be combined with QPSM. What is QPSM? That means, that is the mode selection and it is the finally P I will say the gate signal that will go to the driver circuit. So, depending upon whether you are using a synchronous configuration or whether you are generating a uh, you know asynchronous that means, the diode based thing. If the pulse keeping logic is 0, then it will go. So, under if we go purely by voltage mode control, then we need to have an additional bypass. So, we will go into that what is the mode selection logic. So, this looks like this block is like a PSM mode operation. Okay. So, under PSM, so there will be a select line whether to select a PWM versus PSM. If it is 0, it will take PWM, if it is 1, it is PSM and during PWM, we can take this straight away as the gate pulse and then it will go to the gate time circuit. So, that means, it require a mode selection the counter based DP problem this will come from here we want to optimize the hardware. It require a digital PID controller which is nothing but this digital PID controller okay. the clock generator which will generate all this clock and the main module. So, it, this will be continued I mean we are going to continue in the next lecture about the Verilog synthesizable block. So, today we want to summarize that we have revisited the voltage board digital PWM PSM technique. We understood the PWM PSM multimode digital con control technique and what is the top down design methodology for this control. So, in the next lecture, we are going to synthesize this PSM PWM multimode digital control using Verilog HDL and we want to consider some experimental case study. That is it for today. Thank you very much.